All right, so the next part will be the waste unit with the jagan. Um, like this. This has already been pre-assembled, as we all know. I'm going to take this part, and if I'm seeing this correctly, it has to be like this. It goes on right on top of it, like that. We take these two parts and we put them here. One goes there and one goes here. Now, this part, we take that, goes right on top of this, and then this. We'll go right through that. So it's in there. It's never going to come out. And then push that in like so. To use this. There. And Supposedly that goes like this, here, this one goes back there, now this completes the waste unit but the rest of the manual goes, explains so you gotta, you know, put these on, so this, oh yeah, I knew there was something here. So you take this, you put that through here. So that goes like that, and then three grenade launchers, or the grenades, goes here. And it closes up like that. Then you take this, you flip it about, and then you put that there. Oh, interesting. And you take that and put that here. And then we have this one. You snap it into place like so. I already put that there. And then this one goes here. There we go. So that completes the waste unit. And there are the photo edge parts there and there. And there and there. Didn't want to put it on this. I don't know why. I think maybe because I didn't feel like it. And also, I made a goof because even though um, I should have painted this this color, it doesn't seem right. I'm also seeing the edges here are the lighter green tone. That I can recover. That's easy. The only difference is that this part, which I painted the whole thing under, I didn't realize this top part was going to be the one covering for this. So this one, I'm going to have to remove and retouch up again. So that way, it's, you know, it's for that. Easy, fixable okay. yeah, part of this. Okay? Alright, let's now move on to the next part of the build. Okay. So, here are all the parts that make up the uh, leg. And all the parts that you see here have been, you know, the, um, the photo etch parts already added. Um, some photo etch parts... I think I'm going to have to repass some paint. I'm sorry, not for those parts. The, some parts have to paint again because when you accidentally let a little bit of glue on the paint, if and here's something, a little tip. The minute it happens, wipe it off immediately. Just pass your hand quickly, maybe once or twice, and that's it. Because that way the glue doesn't immediately start dissolving the paint that fast. And then you can, you know, you can recover it. Now, I've used two of the different sets of the um, of the photo etch parts. Um, one was the uh, 096. This is the one that I've been using recently, but I didn't have enough to fill in the other areas. And then this is the 097. You'll notice the difference uh, in this. Let me just um, show you here. So this one will have one notch, 
this one has two notches, this one will have three notches, and this one will have four notches. Um, very nice. Uh, what I did was I, I, I evened it out. So like for the main leg, I used the single and double notches, while the bottom part of the leg, I used the um, triple and quad notches. So I think that should be fine. And I spread this out on all the on all everywhere around the kit. So let's begin with this, the leg, the foot. I mean, let's remove this first. Let me just slide this there. Put this on top. that in all the way so at least that part shows because it has to be flush to that. Let me take this and put this back here. There you have it. Alright. Now for this. Since I've already had this connected, you know, like this, because that way I was able to evenly spray it. I'm going to take it off, so I can put it onto this. But before that, I need this little part here. Put it like so. Ah! Get over here, please. Thank you. If it's going all the way in or not, but it should. Yeah, I felt it going. All right. Then we have this. That goes here. Like that. And we have this. Why do you why do I feel like this is not going in the way I want it? It goes there. Am I missing something here? Give me that. I think I put this in the wrong position. I gotta take this part off. Let me do it again. So that's fine. That goes there, and that's not connecting to that. There we go. 
I think I'm going to have to put it on this one. There we go. What is going on here? I don't remember having this problem with this kid before, or with the other leg. It's supposed to go nice and flush. Oh, it has to go above that. I think. Give me a sec. Alright. I was able to figure it out. I just was doing it wrong. I was always like, doing it nice and slow because, you know... You don't want to scratch the paint after all the work they put in. And of course, making sure that none of the um, photo -its parts came off. Alright, that's good. So now we take this. Put it like that. That's good. And we have this part that goes right above that. That's good. This that needs to turn that one and turn on this because that's the front part of the foot or the leg, I mean. And then we have the back part. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, the legs of the Master Grade Jagan is now complete. Very nice. What do you guys think of that? Hmm? All right, let's now move on to the next part of the kit. Next part of the build will be the backpack, and this one has a lot of detailed parts, as you as you could see here. Um, let's do a little preparing here first. We're just going to put these parts in here. Right. These are done. Put these to the side. And remove this. You know what I forgot to do as I'm doing this right now? I forgot to put the photo edge parts on this. <laughs> I'll do that after this is done. Uh, that one goes there. I believe. Yeah. Actually, I'll just do this. Yeah, I got. I guess I'm. I'm. I guess I'm too excited to build this, and didn't realize that. Oh wait, there's parts that I have to put on this as well. Actually, there is one photo edge parts that I need to show off, which I'm going to do in a few moments. And I don't know if it's going to require glue or not because I haven't figured this out yet. All right, so the the two um, bunny ear back. Um, things in the back are done. Now this. We have to be on this side, in this position. And we have this part here that goes like this. Now this goes right over it. However, we forgot that there are these two parts here that I actually sanded down. Let me just remove this. You see, I sanded down to expose that. And why did I do that, you might say? Well, because I'm going to be using these. 
and the size I'm going to use will be these. The um, well, there's no number on it, but it's big enough. So let me let's do this now and try it out. because this one's the next size bigger. Yeah, I'm going to use this biggest one over here. And in case you want to know what number this is, this is AW093. AW093. Yeah, that, that fits perfectly, but just so it stays, I'm going to put glue. Just a, a dab. A little bit. That's good enough. We'll take that, put that over here, and we'll put it in the corners. One there, one there, one there, one there. I need a little bit more precision here. Not like that. That's good enough. There we go. Uh oh, let's put it this way. It'll be a lot easier. Let's do the same thing with the other one. I'm just checking the vents because sometimes they're in a different alignment. I think that has to be this way. There we go. Nice, right? And then, supposedly, if it's not bothered or touched, which it was, let's do that again. There we go. These are already prepared. Let's put the thrusters on this. That one goes here. That one goes there. And then we take this part, find the holes, put it in like so, turn it around. to connect this part here. Okay. This one here. Good. Then this one goes here. Which I'm going to, of course, may have to remove so I can gain access to the the holes here so I can put them on. 
But before you do that, I'm going to take this off. I forgot this will go there. And then this one, supposedly. Actually, I gotta put this on first. Sorry about that. Like that. That. This goes into there. That goes into there. Doesn't go any farther than that. That's as far as it goes. And then you close that up. Okay. There you go. The backpack is complete. That's actually the best part of this kit so far. Let's now move on to the next part of this build.